been looking for its first home conference win since 2014. Could be worse. She could have been at Baylor. That's Ashley. And if we go to the replay, we will see that she did not have it. <laughs> this is what happens when you're on the sideline at the Auburn LSU game and you think you can shag kickoffs from a Lou Groza Award finalist. <laughs> College football gives people who couldn't get into a decent school something to be proud of. Game days are a rich tradition of tailgating with other alcoholics and screaming obscenities at 19-year-olds. The coaches make millions, the schools make billions, and the players earn meaningless communications degrees. Some equate it to slavery, which explains why the South loves it so much. In those parts, the only thing a father and son enjoy throwing around more than a football is the N-word. 99% of all college players won't make it to the NFL, which means there's a medical reason why all the employees at a certain rental car chain are suicidal. But there's no denying Ashley's a gal who can take a hit to the face, so you know the NFL came a-calling. That's why I put her on the first turnip truck out of Auburn, accompanied her to the draft, and happily took my 60% commission for this week's Web Redemption. <laughs> 2017 NFL Draft, brought to you by Concussions. Concussions, you're probably fine. Good luck, DeAndre. You should be so proud. Your son's slow. Ashley! <laughs> Super agent Daniel Rosenhaus. How are you? Nice suit. Does Ellen know you borrowed it? Everybody at the draft wears this. No. Oh. Got one, Commissioner! Boo! With the first pick in the 2017 draft, the Cleveland Browns select from Oklahoma University, Joe Mixon. I'm gonna key your car! Boo! You're no taglia, boo! Ashley? Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? You look great. Thank you. Did you bust open your nose? I did not. No injuries. Did you even bleed? Nope. You can take a hit. Uh, I can. <laughs> All right, where are you from? I'm from Chicago originally, right outside of Chicago. What would possess a girl from Chicago to go to school in Alabama? It's a family school, so it goes way back on my mom's side of the family. What do you do in Auburn? Go mudding. You go mudding? Yeah. <laughs> is that just in a, in a truck? In a truck, yeah. Put it in four wheel drive and just go through the mud? <laughs> That's about all there is to do. <laughs> That's fun though? Yeah, it can be. <laughs> Tell me about what happened that day. Well, I made a bet with the managers on the football team that I'd be able to catch the ball. Oh, this wasn't just like a random, oh. The kicker for Auburn kicks it to the same spot every single time. Gotcha. So I sat there and waited for it. <laughs> when it hit your face, what did you, what did you feel? <laughs> Nothing. It was a blur. I fell back and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, do you hate the fact that if you Google girls balls to face, that you're one of the first results? I don't think I've ever Googled it, so. <laughs> Hello? Jets. <laughs> Absolutely not. My client's not going to a team that drafted Mark Sanchez fifth overall. <laughs> other than going to Auburn, what other bad decisions have you made? Coming on this show. Uh. Are you proud of the fact that you were the only highlight from Auburn football in 2016? <laughs> you ever dated a football player? I actually am dating a football player. He played at Auburn. What about the, what about the concussions? Do you worry about that at all? I've thought about it, but football is a hard sport. I mean... I enjoy watching it so much. Never had a desire to play a single down. Probably for the best. Right? Yeah. I'm, f I'm pretty frail. Yeah. Oh, but agile. <laughs> you know, my mom, to this day, I don't know how old she is. God, she's old. But she still thinks she could be a running back in the NFL. She's like, oh, no, I just have an ability to, to, to juke and get out of the way. I don't think people could catch me. And I always find that fascinating, that this old woman still thinks she could be in the NFL. Hello? Rex Ryan, you're not even in football anymore. Enjoy trying to sell your townhouse in Buffalo. Do you think there'll ever be a female in the NFL? With the way that we're going in society, probably. Oh, you think it's society that's keeping women out of football? You don't think it's their skill set? Okay, I feel like they would be a good kicker. I mean, they've tried, and they always choked that girl up in Detroit. Oh, finally, they got her the, the audition. She couldn't kick from 30. Ah, embarrassing. I've been waiting for this one. Fuck you, Belichick. Why don't you go write another love letter to Trump? Did they do standard concussion protocol on you? Yeah, they had one of the team's doctors come over and check me out. From Auburn? Yeah. Okay, so did they either rub tobacco on you or just pray over you? I'd say both. I just assume that's what's going on down in Alabama. 
Bible is, Belt. <laughs> is prayer mandatory in your school? It is not, but I would say 95% of people probably do. Uh-huh. That's nothing wrong with praying. I mean, it doesn't work. But man, <laughs> nothing like making sure your food gets a little colder. I'm not a fan of the families that do the hand-holding prayer. My family does hand-holding prayer. It's uncomfortable. It brings you closer, though. I hear you, but then I have to talk about how soft my hands are. Yeah, see, my and hands get sweaty. You got the sweaty palms? I had a buddy in college that had sweaty palms. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> really? You can take medication for it. I've done everything. I did electroshock, water. Do guys comment when they sh hold your hands for the first time? No. I mean, who would say something to you about I that? would, because it'd be a deal breaker if we didn't discuss it. What? It's gross. I can't help it. I know. People can't help a lot of things that you're not attracted to. We'd have to talk about it. Okay. We'd have to be comfortable. That's fair. That's fair. Can I feel your hands? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is moist. I had a long feud with Nick Saban. Now, as an Auburn alum, do you have a message for him? War Eagle. War Eagle. That's, is that fun to yell? It is. Were you at Auburn when those inbred fucks over at Alabama poisoned your tree? I was. How did that make you feel? I mean, Bama sucks. Bammers are Bammers. Was that worse than a school shooting, do you think? The tree... No? <laughs> I think you answered it. <laughs> no! Stop calling me Rams. Nobody wants to play for your team, let alone go to your games. That goes double for that JV Chargers team. NFL Draft Insider Mel Kuyper Jr. Jr. joining us this morning. Ashley's got a highly resilient face. She's definitely got what it takes to be very popular in the locker rooms. She just set a record for the most watched slow motion 40 yard dash ever. She's also the first athlete to ever ace the Wonderland. Drop passes never stopped Ted Ginn Jr. from getting paid. That's the worst upper body strength since Chad Pennington. One. There is a video of her getting into a fight with a female reporter. Now, it shouldn't affect her draft stock. The NFL has a history of looking the other way. And she is a girl, too. I'll be honest with you, she's never made it to my little big board. I find her undraftable, but bangable. My apologies. I've been up for four straight days. My wife left me, and I'm not in a good place. You lack all the intangibles and tangibles. But lucky for you, the draft loves a viral sensation. Just look at Michael Sam. With the last pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, Miami Dolphins select from Auburn University, Ashley. Wasting pick! This is Jake Long all over again. Ah. Good news, Dolphin fans. The Browns traded their next four first-round picks for. <laughs>